dear parents and students this picture defines a lot actually right the yellow taxi and roshagolla yes i am going to talk about west bengal yes and today this particular video is dedicated to west bengal's engineering college yes i'm talking about that havra bridge and victoria memorial yes the memory reminds you each and everything is yes, i'm talking about bengal the royal bengal actually right so today this particular video is about iiest shipur yes this particular engineering college is established on 18th 56 yes if i talk about in 1856 this particular college has inaugurated and this particular college iiest shipur east while west bengal engineering college rank 21st in nirf 2020 among engineering institutes it is the first college of becomes indian institute of engineering science and technology mine it science and technology in india in 2014 the institute has a rich history my dear it is empowering the nation since 1856 what i told you before so yes i'm going to talk about this reputed institute and i would like to tell you what is the mission of this particular school college and vision so this particular iiest shipur is to become one of the best institutes in the world in providing the state of art multidisciplinary research ambience that will usher innovative world class technologies developed towards realizing the goal of developed india yes none other than iies team idea so dear parents and students welcome to test prep card channel this video is going to be about iiest shipur and today i am going to cover the following topics in this particular video and yes hold your breath and don't go anywhere because this particular video is going to be very informative my dear so today's topics and to be covered over here is that the basic overview eligibility criteria for indian students and nri reservation for nri and indian institutes required entrance examination course offered required cut off application process and one and only your favorite scholarship programs which allows you to study this particular function without paying any money right so this is the most important part of this particular video and at last but not the least i will tell you each and everything about the scholarship program so don't go anywhere my dear yes so first of all let's discuss something about the programs iiest undergraduate programs that is btech br btech mtech and all if i talk about post graduates then we have b mtech msc mba mop and phd that doctorate level degree as well okay so if i talk about bachelor of technology then the admission to ug program is done through the jee mains yes mind it jee mains examination means this is the eligibility criteria of this particular examination or you can you can say the degree the nine engineering departments are there aerospace applied mechanics civil engineering computer science electrical engineering electronics information technology that is it mechanical engineering mutuary or you can say the mining engineering yes mining engineering is the most important fact over here just because in west bengal right we gather with lot of things over there the mining works are there and our coal mines are there so definitely the students who belong to uh, west bengal definitely they dedicate themselves in this particular field as well let me tell you the eligibility criteria the eligibility of admission to undergraduate course at indian institute of engineering and science and technology shipur through central seat allocation my dear yes my dear central seat allocation so the basic criteria is 10 plus 2 equivalent qualifying examination btech pass qualified examination with physics and mathematics compulsory subjects along with one of the chemistry biotechnology biology technical technical vocational subject br pass qualification examination with mathematics science and chemistry so these are the criteria right which you which, which you have to go through then definitely you will get that particular admission in this particular reputed college my dear or institution but mind it seat allotment will be done through josaa josaa portal only you do not have to choose any other portal as well 
Yes. Okay. So the most important part comes over here when when we are talking about admissions and all, right? But what? How much I have to spend over there? Yeah. So fee structure and the institution for B Tech and B R courses. So the table one is given over here. The detail of fees paid by the scholar and hostlers. Right? Actually, two kind of fees are actually there, right? The first one is for the scholar who are not using or who are not uh, applying for hostels. The second one is the scholar who is applied for hostels and the hostlers are called actually, right? So without hostel, the fee is 71,000. With hostel, hostel that is 1,500,000 rupees. Without hostel, for 5 lakh rupees, amount rupees paid for OCEWS OBC candidates, right? Earlier, I was talking about general category. Then I talk, I'm talking about the OBC category, my dear. So without hostel, that is 29,333 rupees. With hostel, that is 58,833. Okay, let me tell you something about the STSC candidates. Yes. Without hostel, that is 8,500 and with hostel, that is 38,000. So, let's move around. Okay, if I talk about some courses which considers as DASA, D-A-S-A. -A. So, provisional admission for candidate allotted seat through DASA, that is the provisional admission will be conducted through online mode only right because the students who are in abroad they, they can't come over here for all the process that is why there is a step-by-step -step process for dasa students actually the candidate will ask some send documents and specific emails before online meeting and all right so a candidate should not leave the meeting until the verification is done actually yes the online verification process is there actually right Okay, so let me tell you the documents what required for this particular uh, verification. Self-attested scan copies required at the time of admission, filled in admission from form for DASA, the format available in IIST website. You can go and check it out. If I talk about application form on online process, come and all, seat allotment letter issued by DASA, all the process will be done online. Yes, most important one, just note it down. Applicant's passport, national or uh, nationals of Nepal who do not have a passport copy of authors, uh, you can say authenticated uh, center uh, centership, or you can say citizenship actually, a card has to be submitted first and last page only, right? And the most important again, that is a proof of date of birth and these kind of details actually you can go through with this particular list and you may find all the details regarding this particular thing. So let me tell you and move on to the next. Again, this next slide is also saying about this particular information that what kind of documents you required for this particular admission. So definitely applicant applying under CIWG quota has to produce all the following documents. Copy of a passport of the parents, working any date of in the year 2020, right? And the most important thing is that we have e-copy of DASA in, uh, information over here in our description box. You can go and download this particular uh, PDF through the particular description box, right? And get to know each and everything about this particular abroad learning, right? Okay, so if I talk about step-by-step -step process of online provisional admission, so in the very first step is self-attested scan copy of documents to be sent by email. And for different departments, there are different emails, email ID as well. What you can do for your better information to note it down all those email IDs what I'm providing you over here, right? We have departments of the candidate and we have emails separate, right? The first one is computer science and technology. The email is given parallelly. Civil engineering, the different email ID is there. Electrical engineering, the different email ID is there then mechanical, then electronic and information technology at last. So we have different courses or you can say departments and different email IDs. So irrespective of this particular thing, a student has to submit in the same email ID which is mentioned after it. Okay, so writing subject of the mail, right? What you have to write over there? The submission of document DASA 2020 application ID. Name of the candidate department allotted, example submission of the document, DASA application ID, Ravi Rajan Kumar, Civil Engineering Department. So you have to write in, a, in a this particular way, right, while writing an email. 
So files to be uploaded. Only PDF files are to be uploaded. Yes, mind it. No JPG files should be there. Only PDF format. The file format is JE Maze application number, name of the document short example, just like this particular number is given over there, right? File size below 1 MB or you can say maximum 1 MB, right? The next one is also given over here. Okay, what is the step two? So joining the online meeting through Google Meet by the candidate during provisional admission means you have to go through the Google Meet as well. Again, the same scenario is over there. The department wise Google Meet ID is also given there. You may go through with this particular ID, right? By clicking over here after getting that particular PDF or you may note it down for your future references. Okay, let me tell you the third step actually, the most important one. The generation of enrollment certificate. After verifying the documents, the verifying officials will generate the enrollment certificate. Yes. And ask the candidate to pay the balance amount of, of the institute fee. That is 8,500 rupees, right? So the balance amount of the institution fee, where to pay, right? What are those particular sites or the account number, where to pay, right? So you have the bank detail over here. The first name is over there. That is the name of the account. That is IIEST, Shippur Student Fee. Branch name is given there. And the... And the number are also there actually, right? So IFSC code, MICR code, account number, SWIFT code. And SWIFT code is for those students who are from abroad actually, right? And all the details are also given over here at the parallel way. The type of account, all things are mentioned over here. So no need to confuse anything. So that is why just the card is always beneficial for you, my dear. Go and just like this particular video and share it to all the members where you are joined actually. Now let me tell you, the institute fees. Yeah, detail of that institute fees per semester. Admission fees, including that what, how many, what are the criteria of fees amount actually, right? Admission, student activity and medical uh, insurance, then infrastructure, examination fee, institute caution, admission and refund. So, if I talk about the CIWG category, that is 71,000 INA. If I talk about DASA, non-SAR category, that is 8,500 80, INA and 4,000 USD. If I talk about DASA, SAR category, so 8,500 INR means Indian rupee, Indian money, or 2,000 rupees USD, right? So, these are the particular thing actually. And one more thing is that eligibility criteria will be as per the norm of, norm of CCMT. And what is the, uh, uh, and I'm talking about which eligibility criteria? Yes, I'm talking about none other than MTEC and M plan means master degree. So these are the plans actually. The institutes offer PG courses leading to master of technology. MTEC degree with various specialization in the following nine engineering and technology department the first one is civil engineering the next one is electrical electronics computer science aerospace mechanical information technology material engineering and the last one that is mining engineering then again the same process is coming over here that is admission our indian institute the fee criteria again right so Institute code is 405, my dear, and the institute name is usually low. If I talk about uh, MTech and MPLAN, the all programs, the day scholar and hostler, both the fees are different actually. So, OC, other candidates, OBC and EWS, and SCST, PWD, both fees are again different. If I talk about without, uh, without hostel, that is 42,500 during the first semester. If I talk about hostler, they can 72,000 during admission plus rupees that is 42,500. If I talk about SCST candidate, that is 7,500 per semester. If I talk about the hostler, that is 37,000 during admission. So these are the criteria where you can find each and everything about fee descriptions. You don't need to go anywhere or log into any site. If you are there in test prep card channel, then definitely you are fulfilling all your dreams over here and get all the information which is required and which is necessary for your upcoming future planning. 
So Master of Science MSc, the university under the faculty of basic and applied science. Other full-time postgraduate courses leading to MSc degree in the following discipline, right? Physics, chemistry, mathematics, earth science, community science, and the total number of seats of each other is 25 only. Okay, the most important that is DAAD scholarship. Yes, working internship in science and technology. I would like to read you each and everything over here. This is most important actually. So dear professor, Chakrabarti, it is our pleasure to inform you. The letter is, I'm right, I'm just reading a particular letter over here. Pleasure to inform you that DAAD has announced its prestigious internship program that is working internship in science and engineering, my dear, W-I-S-E-Y's for undergraduate again this year. So this scholarship program is open to BTEC students in the, in the fifth year or sixth semester, no, fifth or sixth semester. And for the dual degree that is integrated bachelor master program, students in the fifth and sixth semester or seventh, seventh or eighth semester for carrying out two or three month research internship at German university funded research institute. So this is the particular criteria or you can say the scholarship provided by this particular institution. So thanks for watching this fantastic video, my dear. I would like to tell you that like this particular video, share this particular video and this is my request to share everywhere where you are joining. Thank you. Bye-bye and welcome again.